Good morning, St. Paul's. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. 65 years ago today, World War II in Europe ended. It ended with the surrender of all German forces in the European theater. And with Germany's surrender, uh, the war in Europe uh, brought to a conclusion. Still, in the Pacific, the war would drag on for three more bloody months until the United States would drop two atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Nagasaki and Hiroshima. At the conclusion of the war, 65, or about an estimated 60 million people had been killed. And I think for us as Christians, it's important to reflect on the fact that the, Europe, the war in Europe was a war between Christian nations. And it's important to ask the question, why would Christians uh, who take the gospel of Jesus seriously, a gospel of compassion, love, of peace, be willing to wage bloody war for five years uh, and war that was total, that led to the destruction of many cities in Europe, that included the deaths of non-combatants and innocents and so forth. And Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers. They shall be called daughters and sons of God. And what is it, though, that we need to do to up Root, the desire for war. And I think on a psychological level, war begins in our own hearts. It begins with our belief sometimes that we're right and others are wrong. And as a result of that belief in our rightness, that we can impose our will, no matter what the cost, upon others, without seeing the nuances, the complexities of life and relationships. And I think as we move into the 21st century, as Christians, we're called to re-examine at a deep, deep level this injunction in Jesus' teachings of the Beatitudes, blessed are the peacemakers. What does that mean to really genuinely be a peacemaker? And to look at ourselves to see what are the roots of war in our own souls? What are the ways in which I wage war against myself, against others, even in some cases against God? And in this way, I think it's one avenue perhaps to explore uh, a way to becoming a peacemaker by examining that aspect of ourselves. So as we move into the weekend and uh, prepare to enjoy ourselves this weekend, hopefully we can take reflections of peace and take the gospel seriously and work to be peacemakers in our families, in our communities, and in our world. And also a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there uh, this weekend. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, St. Paul. I'm Patricia Oliveira, and here are your morning announcements. Next week is Spirit Week. There are several events planned for the week, starting with Monday's Green Day. That means students must wear green shirts on Monday in order to participate. Uniform pants are mandatory. Tuesday is Jersey Day, so wear your sports jerseys. Uniform pants are mandatory. Wednesday is Twin Day. You can dress up top to bottom as someone else. You will be called out of class period one, stamped and photographed in order to participate. Thursday is Neon Day. Wear bright neon colors. Uniform pants are mandatory. Please see the posters around the school and listen to announcements for more reminders. Attention all hip hop crew members. There will be a mandatory meeting, a mandatory practice immediately after school today in the gym. Hip hop practices will no longer be held in the cafeteria. And now for sports.
Teachers, please excuse the senior boys soccer team at 11 a.m. for their OFSA qualifier against T.L. Kennedy at noon. A reminder to all members of the floorball team that there will be a practice on Monday, May 10th, after school in the gym. Please see Mr. Vickers, Mr. Derry, or Mr. O'Reilly if you are unable to attend. With the school year coming to an end and stress levels building with culminating tasks, Ms. Schlarp will be holding a free yoga class next Wednesday, Wednesday after school in the St. Paul gym. Come and chill out. There will be a sign-up list on the bulletin board outside of the gym office. There is an important SPAC meeting after school today for all members presenting at the health fair next week. Please meet immediately after the bell in the phys ed office. Yesterday after school, our junior girls faced Rick Hansen. The girls were in, were in charge of the game from the start, beating Rick Hansen 7-0. Goal scorers were Patricia Glusak, Sydney Martins with two, and Mariella, Mariella Martinez, Rebecca Kaiser, Caitlin Pereira, with all, all with singles. Next game is Wednesday, May 12th at Mississauga High School. The second game of the doubleheader was our senior girls versus Hanson senior girls. Same results as the junior game, the seniors were in control from the start and ended up with a 7-0 win. Goal scorers were Stefania Viscardi with two and, sing with two and singles from Lila Mataliano, Sa Sarah Alves, Natalie Dalbo, Christy Malakar, and Luba Salipka. The senior girls team begins the double A play playdowns today at Ascension at Iceland's. That's all for today, St. Paul. Remember that this Sunday is Mother's Day, so treat your mother like gold. The song of the day is It's Tricky by Run DMC. Have a fabulous Friday.